platforms built to duplicate decks of troop transports, United States Marines rehearse invasion tactics they've already been called upon to use. Scrambling down cargo nets into assault boats, they go to establish bridgeheads upon some enemy beach. Soldiers of land, sea, and air, theirs is the tradition, first to fight. A role they've played for 165 years. Called the most versatile troops in the world, they bring their own tanks ashore, perfecting the technique of mechanized warfare under battle conditions similar to their landings in the Pacific. have landed have a special significance. For somewhere in the South Pacific, Navy transports are nosing their way. Armed to the teeth, anti-aircraft guns on the alert, decks loaded with those same United States Marines, ready now for real action. Transporting supplies and equipment thousands of miles from their home bases, their immediate objective strategic outposts on the road to Australia. After months of training in just this sort of landing operation, the Marines set the stage for the attack that put the Japanese on the defensive. Welcomed by young and old alike, the devil dogs, as they're called, are at home in any climate. Admiral Byrd, the famous American polar explorer, is with the landing party as ancient tribal chieftains come to greet the officers. Every modern device is used to speed the unloading. For peaceful though this tropical paradise may appear, this is a vital theater of war in the Pacific. Today, garrisoning their bases for the first American offensive of the war, the Marines are living up to the tradition of the Corps, always first to fight.